you sure? When you're setting this up, you don't have to put the thing all the way down. Yeah, lightly. Slightly, a little bit, maybe a little bit more than a cut here. I'm just setting up some paint lines waiting for Hilo to come in. It looks like there's been a lot of traffic from Recon coming through here, and this is the LZ for the Hilo's coming in. So if we set up some paint lines, it's going to at least catch them off guard. Uh, it started uh, back in, I think, 1971. This is the 20th Rim Pack, and it's an opportunity for nations uh, in the Pacific Rim that, that have capable navies to come together. So, you seven right there, my first seven divers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's our time? Oh, 90, 25. It's important making sure that we can work together as an allied force in case something hits the fan that we could pull our resources and work as a team. And we know we can trust each other and we know we can communicate and we know we can uh, relate. US Navy guys, they've been to a lot more real-time situations, operational postings, Iraq and Afghanistan than us. And they got a uh, bigger budget and better equipment, so we learn, learn to use their equipment that we'll possibly be getting down the track. It's important because if we have to do an exercise with them, it, it'd take six months to learn each other's routines. The, the, this way we can go away on an exercise with a, a Navy, US Navy EOD guys and already know their routines and be able to work straight away with them. We did it overland, got everything square, learned, you know, learned what was right and what was wrong and worked out all the bugs before we came in and did it over water. A lot of the scenarios are, are uh, updated scenarios. You know, instead of pulling antiquated drills out from 1985, I mean, the training is, is more recent. You know, it's what people are seeing today and we're, you know, we're trying to train these teams because they're going to be possibly be the next teams in the barrel. IED, IED, IED! You know, the, right now it's an IED war. Everything is IEDs all the time, car bombs, VBIDs. I mean, this is our day. I mean, really, this is our, this is our time. Involved in this uh, year's RIMPAC, RIMPAC 2006, uh, are um, eight nations, uh, seven of them contributing a fair number of forces. All told, we've got about 19,000 people involved in this exercise. I think, um, I believe this RIMPAC is important because uh, the, it's important to work together uh, many ships of uh, different countries to, to know uh, which are the capabilities of our Navy and, uh, and learn to work together. Pretty simple concept, okay? It's like a digital watch timer. It counts down. It's uh, selectable, set from uh, five minutes all the way up to 30 days. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do your, uh, your countdown test on this, switch it to arm, and you see it starts to count down, right? Yep. Because that means it functions, it's working. Most important aspect of this is not the people who are running the show right now. It's the junior people in the exercise who get to know other junior people from different armed forces. Those relationships that they've formed, those understanding that, they, uh, that they've gleaned from the exercise, the respect that they have for each other based on operating as a single force. It sets the stage for enhanced cooperation and enhanced understanding in the future. The way you might work out certain calculations, I know when they did the uh, calculations for their FBT or the safety fuse is different for the way we work it out, but it's at, the same, at the end of the day it still works out the same. Your way's not right and our way's not 100% right, but it's, uh, it all works out uh, well in the end and it's good to see that. Hey. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. It's been a wonderful experience working with other forces, getting to know them on a professional level as well as a personal level. I think it's been a great training environment. We get to learn how they do business, they learn how we do business, and when it comes to the real thing, in an actual mission, we've already got a lot of, a lot of methods established and going into the, that environment will be much easier. Want to let me know when you guys are uh, ready to receive fuel? It's very interesting, uh, although we're uh, geographically a long distance apart, 
um, our aspirations and our tactics and our way we do things are all very similar. Um, we've all got things that we bring to the party and uh, combining this training is uh, a very good way of improving our techniques and uh, giving each other good ideas. It's unbelievable experience for everybody. Like, you know, it's, it gets you a chance, like, not only to, to try what you can do against the uh, other countries in the world, but not only that, we, uh, we build a big camaraderie. Like, when we go, like, uh, for example, in Pearl Harbor, and all these ships are there, you know, like, we've never met these guys before. Like, we're all from completely different countries, and we, but we all have, like, the sea in common. So, like, right off the bat, we all have this in common. It, it's a great experience. It's really good for everybody. And I'm sure, like, uh, when everybody goes back home, they're going to, have a good memory of that for sure.